Horse Burger here. Today I'll be showing you something really cool. I, I, I'm get, if you um if you're watching this video, you probably have seen that I've recently made the world's thinnest paper. So today I'll be teaching you how I did it super easily with only two materials: water. Sorry, I guess four actually: water, a basket, glue, only a slight bit, and printer paper. Super easy. You barely need anything of each. So I'll be using this container. I got, I don't know where it's from. My parents have it in our, in our sub basement, no clue why. But we, um, it's where we, um, I make my paper. So this is what the pulp looks like. And we'll show you how exactly, and I mean exactly how I made that paper. It's super easy too. So what you're gonna start by doing, is you're gonna take an embroidery hoop, one sec. I don't know who to put these on, see one second if I find my embroidery hoop. Aha, uh -huh. I think it's over here somewhere. Hmm. All right, not up there. Okay, so plan me a different embroidery hoop. One sec. Now, like I said, super simple. Oh, sorry, I think we got a few materials. You're gonna need some door screening and some uh, and an embroidery hoop, which is what I use. You pretty much you any use anything that you can somehow put the that fits in your basket. That fits it in your basket, and you can put the screen on somehow. Don't use like maybe a sheet of paper because that obviously can't get wet. But you also want to use some draining like this sheet of whatever it's called, I forgot the one. Screening, screen, sheet screening I use for my old, for, my parents let me use for my old, for my, from the, our old screen door that was really bad and it didn't work that well. So we cut it out, uh, out of the screen and it worked pretty well. So basically this is, I cut out a square that is gonna fit this. Actually I don't think it will, one sec. Intermission time. better okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna as if we were using ada we're gonna put it in right normally one sec let me figure out how to angle the camera the best i'm ugh. um now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna once i have it on like this like so i'm gonna put this on top Work. Oh, I see why. Didn't loosen it, that's why. Let's try this again. Here we go. Perfect. Now that we have our hoop and our, um, what's it called? Our, our strainer. Obviously, if we, now we have our strainer contraption made. We're going to start by dipping it in the water. So I'm gonna figure out how the, how the best I can show this. I know. So basically, let me, we're gonna start, but most importantly, you're gonna grab a towel right next to where you're about to make your paper. Make sure it's laying nice and flat. But what most people make the mistake of that, that I noticed, or at least what I made the mistake of, is that um, one thing that really helped was a video I saw on on youtube i don't know really remember what it's called it's arnold something's paper making it was super helpful it really was nice trust me one sec let me tighten this real quick i think that's good no no more just a tad bit that should be good okay so now what we do is we have our basically what I made the mistake of when this wasn't going well is I made this mistake of putting too much pulp in the water, which obviously made the paper too thick. And also, I just tried to pick it right out and put it on here. But I can tell you, the strainer helps a whole lot. So now, what we're gonna do is 
we're gonna start by by taking we're gonna take our printing paper and rip it up into tiny pieces by tiny i mean tiny this is what it's gonna look like we have our pulp over here now what we're gonna do we're gonna bring it in the water here i'll show you the full process if you want one sec so i'm gonna take the printer paper so i have printer paper obviously I'm gonna take, put this aside and we're gonna rip this piece off the more you use, the thicker the paper will be. This is a very high warning, so I'm barely going to use any because I already have a lot of paper in there. So we're going to start by ripping it up into small pieces. Not too small, though. That's what the other part of it is for. The second part of the process is for. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the water, which is the bucket over here. And then, what you're going to do, show as best I can, one sec, so you're going to put your hand in the water and kind of sw kind of twist your fingers around on the paper. Trust me, it'll work quite well. And if that isn't working, all you have to do is just rip it up. Sorry about that. That was ugly. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Now, like I said, the more the lower the paper to to the lower the paper to water ratio, the better the thinner the paper will be. But if you add glue to it, slight, just the slightest amount, it'll make it super strong, which is nice. That's how easy it is. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our. Let me zoom out real quick. One second, let me figure out how. To I'm going to show this. Let's dry my hands. So now we're going to dip this in the water. Slash paper, the pulp tub, as I like to call it. It's going to look like that. And then lift it right out. If it doesn't seem to be picking up anything, just scoop it in. And I'm going to push it down. Push it down. Why you mix it up a bit? Then I'm gonna make sure I got it all. Then I push it, pull it back up, which has our pulp. Now we're gonna put it on the towel, which doesn't dry it completely, which is not what we want actually, which comes into my mistake number one. We don't wanna dry the, the side the paper is on. That will not work well. And obviously that one didn't work because the paper started scraping off. So we're gonna try that again. I already show you that part, so I'm gonna show you again. One sec. So now we want to make sure it's extra tight and then we put it on the towel. You want to make sure you push down extra hard and but not too hard. You don't want the towel to absorb the paper somehow. And once you dry it well, it's gonna look like this. As you see the paper sign kind of starting to show. Now all you have to do is once it's slight, the slightest bit dry so you can see it, you can tell whether you want it or not. I see this is enough paper, as you can probably see. It's definitely enough paper. There's just a few holes in it, which I'll, I'm working on that part. But basically, now I'm going to bring it upstairs. I'll meet you in the backyard. Here we are in my backyard. We're going to let it dry in the sun. I took the, I off the hoop so I can remove, so I can reuse the hoop, obviously, and do, make more paper while I'm at it. And then that's really it. All I have to do is just let it dry from there. Maybe for the nice thing about the paper is that the thinner it is, the quicker it dries. Like I said before, we'll grab as many scraps as we can to use later. But basically, that's really it. Um, and that's how you can make the side, and not including the dry stuff. That's how you make the world's thinnest paper in less than ten minutes. I hope you had a great day and having a good two. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and having a great day. Bye.